This video is the second production of Embryological Development of the Face. Facial development begins with the development of the frontal process. The frontal process has three downwardly growing growths that develop from it. The initial growth is a median nasal process. The median nasal process is responsible for forming the center down to the tip of the nose as well as the nasal septum. In addition, there is a right and left lateral nasal process, but we're only going to draw the left lateral nasal process on our model. Once the median nasal process finishes developing, it changes names and is called the globular process. The globular process is responsible for forming the area of the philtrum. Branchial arch 1 is responsible for forming the lower jaw. In addition to forming a lower jaw, you're going to see two growths that grow up from it. These are maxillary processes. The maxillary processes grow up and inward and will basically create the mid face. The maxillary process will grow in to touch the lateral nasal process and the globular process. In areas that we have facial development, we need to have fusion of adjacent structures, whether they come from the frontal process or branchial arch 1. In the formation of a cleft lip, we want to make sure that we have fusion of the globular process with the maxillary process. Any failures in fusion create a cleft lip. An incomplete unilateral cleft lip is being shown here. This is a left-sided incomplete cleft lip. We call it unilateral because it's only on the left side. This is showing you a complete unilateral cleft lip. 